What's up guys, it's Paige here for Ego Magazine with another exclusive artist interview. Today I have Matt Francis. What are some of your earliest memories in music? Probably growing up, my parents were really big music people and our house was never quiet, so we were always listening to music. We were always singing, we were always dancing. Um, my most prominent memory is my mom had this like one bootleg burned like jazz CD. <laughs> And we would listen to it every time we were in the car. And I think like after listening to that a bunch of times, that was when I decided that I liked singing. So I would always like, I know it like front to back. First, I guess real inspiration is, was like Ella Fitzgerald, just like, like again from that same jazz CD. So anytime I was just like thinking of singing, it was always like, I always like brought it back to her every time. And what's your song writing process like? It kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day. Um, sometimes if like I get sent a beat or something, I'll just listen to it and I will let myself write to whatever emotions come up. Sometimes for like my more personal stuff where like I am like playing guitar, I usually have something that I need to get out. Um, so it kind of varies depending on how I'm feeling. And what do you do when you have writer's block? Nothing. I just. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing you can do. Yeah, because I've tried to like work past it before, and everything I wrote was just trash. And I was like, no. So sometimes I think like that creator's block or writer's block is just like divine and like an opportunity to rest and like get inspiration instead of trying to like force productivity. So what's your recording process like? Do you record music on your own? Do you usually have a producer? Does it kind of just depend on what you're working on at the time? Yeah, it's always different. I just know that music is something that I want to do. And so I'm understanding that like, if it's something that I want to do, I just have to do it any way that I can. So honestly, like I'll have producers who can reach out to me and they'll send me stuff or I'll reach out to producers who send me stuff. Through networking and meeting more people, I have a lot of people who are willing to help me out. So my one friend, Jackson, Jack.Mac, um, he has been helping me out with beats and lets me record in his studio. And also Jalen January um, has been helping me out as well. So I write with him a little bit and he also has a studio. Um, so a lot of the time it's just getting into any studio that I can so I can start to record stuff and kind of build a catalog that way. How important is networking in music? A thing that held me back a lot as an artist and getting started in music was thinking that I had to do everything by myself. But I never really understood the importance of like collaboration and community and how much you need like people to bring your vision to life. So I think that um, networking is definitely high on the list of like importance in music and anything. What's the song you're most proud of that you've written? That's hard because you probably like all of them, obviously. Not really. Really? I'm a very harsh critic. I, everyone's a really harsh critic of themselves. Probably the most proud I am of a song is it's the one that I'm going to be performing here today at Ego, and that one's called Why Am I Still Here? It was like one of the first songs that I wrote because um, I stopped, when I stopped music for a couple years, I stopped like, everything, stopped singing, stopped writing, stopped doing all of that. Um, so it was, and so that was kind of my way to deal with whatever emotions I was dealing with or whatever is just the healthiest way. And then I stopped doing that. And then truthfully just started taking a, an unhealthy approach to how I deal with my emotions. Cause I'm very, obviously I'm emotional, I'm an artist, <laughs> I'm a writer. Um, but it was one of the first songs where it was like, consciously I felt myself going to a bad place emotionally and instead of defaulting to the bad habits that I had turned to over the past while, I decided to sit down and write about it instead. But I thought it would, it was just like such a good, almost like place marker or like checkpoint in my career as an artist. Cause it just felt like finally stepping back into like the authenticity and being genuine. Cause those are the only reasons that I started do like really writing my own music in the first place so how important is it to support local music everything starts somewhere even the biggest artists or the biggest show or the biggest at some point it was probably people sitting in a basement like throwing out ideas or it was it's it, like we've all been there where like the biggest stars are right now and it all starts truthfully at home and so i don't know if a lot of people would go on 
to do bigger things if they didn't have the support of their hometown. There you have it. That was our exclusive interview with Matt Francis for Ego Magazine. I'm Paige. We'll see you next time.